South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has blasted the travel bans enacted against his country and neighboring regions as a result of the new COVID variant Omicron. In his own words, the president said he's deeply disappointed by the decision of several countries to prohibit travel, which he believes is unjustified and will ultimately do more harm than good. Ramaphosa is calling for an urgent revocation of the measures. This comes after the mutated variant was flagged in the country earlier in the month and confirmed with the WHO on Wednesday. Omicron has been the leading cause of infections in South Africa's most populated province, Guteng, over the past fortnight. The strain is now active across the rest of the country as well. But who exactly has pulled the plug on South Africa and angered the president? Well, the UK, US and the EU are among the guilty parties with Japan joining the list just today. The East Asian country moved to reinstate stricter border restrictions, which include all foreigners being banned from entering the country, effective tomorrow, November 30. Although this time around, the WHO have warned countries not to rush to impose travel bans, arguing that they should instead weigh up all the factors and take a more risk-based and scientific approach. The director of the African wing of the organization, Mashido Mueti believes that since the variant has now been found in other countries, instating bans targeting Africa attacks global solidarity. President Ramaphosa went further in declaring that not only was there no scientific basis for cutting off South Africa, but the region is also the victim of unjust discrimination. And perhaps many agree with his point that the only thing the prohibition on travel will do is further damage the economies of these affected countries. Indeed, the economic impact is undeniable as South Africa, along with virtually every other country in the world, has been met with financial hardships since the dawn of the first border closures. So it's fair that the necessity and effectiveness of additional travel blocks is in question. But for now, Ramaphosa is calling on countries with bans in place to urgently reverse their decisions before any further damage is done to African economies.